brings us to North Carolina and Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Minnesota Vikings and the Carolina Panthers. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And off we go from uptown Charlotte. On the return, Andre Roberts from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Faking the give, Darnold steps away toward the sideline, and look at that catch, dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Darnold. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 37-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. The play fake, and it's Darnold. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. Now following the sack, Darnold and Carolina left with a third and long. He rifles one that's intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You called that pick in early, and he showed why he was so coveted with that interception there. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Three yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. They go play action. Cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. He's got it to the 43 here. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard game. Play fake. Cousins. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Shaq Thompson making his presence felt on the sack. And they set him on the blitz from that linebacker spot. And boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did. And obviously, he could have used a block from his running back. But I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And the Panthers will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Escaping the pressure right. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 
No score after one on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Foreman. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. From the 38, Darnold. And that's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Darnold. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chenault. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 24-yard line. Back to throw, Darnold. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, it would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high-percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Play action. It's Darnold. Being chased out left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Throwing here on third down, Darnold to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close, that close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. And here we go on fourth. Darnold. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And the Vikings are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, I appreciate the aggressiveness trying to go for it there on fourth down, but you're in the red zone, had three points in your back pocket. Instead, Charles, they throw it away. Certainly a big call to go for it on fourth down, as you said, in the red zone. Definitely going to cost them three points, and we'll see how that affects the game as time goes on. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Oftentimes, now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. A first down throw for Cousins. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Cousins. Uh, he's got it. 
And the Vikings are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Cousins on the keeper, and this time he breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Vikings post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this Greg second Joseph quarter. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. Makes the score, Vikings 7, Panthers nothing. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football. And Donald got to be intercepted for the third time. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. Now, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you're throwing this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. On second down, it's Cook again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. The kick by Joseph is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Andrew Booth picks it off. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger gain? On play action, Cousins. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And how about this land out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with you and I both noticed. And the third interception thrown by Cousins. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to have it here just past the 25. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Foreman. And not much running room. Down to the 32. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. To throw is Darnold. Touchdown, Carolina! D.J. Moore, 32 yards. And the Panthers take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Still just a two-score game in the third quarter, but they're going to go onside kick here anyway. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. First down, here's Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. So that, that was a very nice play, Charles, from a very speedy quarterback. Cousins gets way to Cook. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Open man is Thielen. It's complete. Touchdown! Cousins able to connect with Adam Thielen. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Joseph connects on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Off of play action, Darnold. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. To throw once more on second and 10. Darnold is going to let this one go deep. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. Darnold now to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Andrew Booth picks it off. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. What was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it, Kurt Coleman? Oh, yeah, that's then right. with the Eagles? That's right. He's then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Gross. That's correct. The running there is Cook, but no lane to be found as they'll stop it behind the line. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Meanwhile, Cousins throw taken in by Hawkinson here. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. First down. Here's the run with Cook. A gain of three, second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five to throw Cousins. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 20-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Cook. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. A first down from Minnesota. Cousins finding Thielen. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Cook will score. Touchdown, Vikings. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. 
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Finding space at the 40 and out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Darnold. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Again, Darnold. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Fourth down, and for Darnold, it's desperation time. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. 